hi guys you are welcome to my channel today we'll be looking at how we can trade uh volatility 75 index on uh the smaller time frames we are also going going to look at how we can trade step index on the smaller time frames okay but i'll be looking at the higher time frames first i'm talking about the uh volatility 75 index on the daily time frame okay what i can see on the daily time frame is um a bearish or a bearish structure around here uh that got broken uh we have a break we have this particular break of the trend line of the descending trend line around here and this particular candlestick is showing like a retest and then we might start to see uh up, upside uh you know push of price to the top side we might end up seeing something like price moving to the three seven eight three two one level um but for now uh price is um bearish for now uh, but um we cannot rule out the fact that price might retrace uh, up to a particular Fibonacci level let's look at um we have uh price has moved past the 23.6 uh, percent fibonacci level so price might likely get to uh, the 38.2 percent fibonacci level the 38.2 percent fibonacci level is at the 370617 area okay so i expect uh that to be our target our next target for price all right so that's that for the daily time frame let's look at what we have on the four hour time frame for volatility 75 index okay for four hour time frame we can see uh the progression where price starts to establish uh higher lows okay this this is a low and this particular low is higher than this low um this particular low point is also higher than this the previous lows and what we can see now is price have it this push to the top side we have this retracement with the look of this candlestick shadows uh i can say that price is trying to kind of swing uh, to the top side so we have some like uh higher low we may have some like a higher low uh, this low is obviously higher than this low so um that's uh, typical of a bullish structure so we have this ascending trend line okay and then this particular point where we have the confluence of the descending and the ascending trend line might be a support might be a support might serve as a support to price in case price uh, drops but for now price is going up for now um on the one hour time frame what do we have we have like uh, a range a triple a triple bottom we have price moving in the triple bottom at this particular point or let's call it inverted head and shoulder okay where this is at uh, the left shoulder uh, this is the head though inverted and this is the right shoulder this is the right shoulder uh, so uh, we have the neckline to be around here uh, this should be our neckline and if the neckline breaks, we might see a retest of that particular point. We might see a retest of this point. And then you can see, we might see price price pushing up to uh, this other block where we have the, this particular resistance. We might see price pushing up to this particular other block on uh, the one hour time frame. Okay, so that's that for the one hour time frame. Let's look at what we have on the 30 minute time frame. On the 30 minute time frame, we can see uh, that the inverted head and shoulder pattern is more obvious and the uh, price is trying to form a higher low of course if we have a higher low uh, then we might have a higher high then a higher low then a higher high okay so that that price can might progress in that direction now let's look at the 15 minutes time frame what we have on the 15 minutes time frame the inverted head and shoulder pattern is more elaborate uh, what we are waiting for right now is for, for price to approach the 357, 357, 151 uh, level. Okay.
okay as soon as price gets there i'm talking about this particular point if price gets to this particular point on the chart um I expect price to get to this um particular point on the chart this point i'm talking about this point and i expect price to go above it i'll be happy to see price retrace b before going up so that's that for the 15 minutes time frame we have a bullish outlook for volatility and five index on the five minutes time frame we can see uh, uh the, the the sellers or the bas push price downward the buyers took it up and pushed it higher this high higher than this high then when they have the bs pushing it to this point where the buyer stepped in to give us a higher low this particular low is higher than this low all right and we can see the break of structure first for this particular structure got broken uh this particular structure i'm talking about the structure i uh, got broken at this very point okay do we had a retrace of we had a retracement afterwards now we have this structure another structure in place and uh, this this very structure that we're talking about right here um talking about this particular point okay it got broken around here okay for us to have a higher high at the same time have another structure so i'll be expecting price to retrace a bit and then go up to break this very structure so that's that is bullish on the five minutes time frame on the one minute time frame we can see price you know giving us head and shoulder pattern on the one minute time frame this is the head okay and this is the at this that's the left shoulder uh, this is the head and this is the right shoulder okay and we have the neckline got broken somewhere around here let me remove this uh, particular shape okay let me remove this okay so we have the neckline got broken this can see price descending right now we might be seeing another head and show inverted head and shoulder around here for price start to go up we might see another uh, inverted head and shoulder at this point for price to continue its way up but i expect uh this particular point to be my support i expect a swing low at this point we have a swinger here so i'm expecting a swing low around here so overall i'm big bullish on uh volatility and five index for now until the uh price takes another turn uh, let's take a look at step index on the daily time frame what we have for step index on the daily time frame uh we can see there's a low point on the chart on the daily time frame this low point and we have uh another lo low point but this point this particular point is higher than this point so and uh, we are now having another swing low or a low point uh, which is this point is higher than this particular point so uh what we're seeing is more like a bullish structure drawing the trend line uh, the trend line from somewhere around here uh, another trend line could be plotted to this particular level on this screen so this is like an ascending trend line ascending trend line tells you about the bullish uh, price movement okay so we have a structure here that was initially broken this particular structure was broken the level structure broken around here now for for price to print another structure which is around here i expect that structure to be broken but before I get to that structure, I expect price to get to the 8832 uh, level before getting to the top structure. That's for the daily time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, we can see price moving upwards. Okay, price is ascending and the momentum is high. Okay, uh, the drawdown or the pullback is not really uh, much. Uh, the bias kept stepping in. Let's look at the one hour time frame. You can see price printing uh, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, which is typical of a bullish structure. So we have a bullish structure in place for step index on the one hour time frame. So we currently have uh, this particular bullish engulfing candlestick pattern that tells us that price is going to push further to the upside. So you might look for buying opportunities on the 30 minutes time frame. Uh, we can see uh, more like a bullish flag pattern broken. Okay, um, you can see the flag broken around here. 
and you can see price trying to push to the top all right so on the 30 minutes time frame the the, the pattern the the trend is still bullish so look for buying opportunities on the 15 minutes time frame you can see the bullish flag uh the bull bull, bull flag pattern bro bro broken out and price is approaching the top side so it's overall a bullish on the 15 minutes time frame i still have another bullish uh price uh forecast for uh the five minutes time frame as price continues to push up same thing with the one one minute time frame. but on the one minute time frame we are in a range for step index and i'll be expecting a range breakout for step index on the one minute time frame okay this is the range top this is my range top and this is the range bottom this is the range bottom so i'll be expecting the breakout to the top side on the one minute time frame so that's that for um um step index okay uh if you're yet to subscribe to the channel go ahead and smash the subscribe button uh you can smash the like button if you like the video drop comments below the video ask questions we'll try as much as possible to respond to your question you can smash the bell button below the video for notification all right you can go to my website www.beanfxtrader.com to learn more on how to trade you can also go to fxfables.com to learn more on how to trade so like come your way tomorrow on how to trade volatility in the index uh, see you in the next video